Hydro Flask has two straw lid options, their original design and the newer flex straw that was released in early 2022. In this video, we're going to review tips and best practices to follow when cleaning each one. The first part of the video focuses on the older design and the second part is on the flex straw. If you're looking to buy one of these lids, you can use the links in the description to find them on Amazon. We get a small commission if you purchase that way and every little bit helps our small business. We really appreciate the support. Let's get this out of the way first. We know it's a pain in the butt, but we generally recommend hand washing all Hydro Flask products. The reason why is that it's pretty confusing to know which Hydro Flask products are actually dishwasher safe and which ones aren't. Even if it says the product is dishwasher safe, Hydro Flask mentions that some accessories like caps may last longer if they are hand washed. So to be safe, we recommend sticking to hand washing as much as you can to help your Hydro Flask products work well for many years to come. Get a bottle brush kit like this one that includes a longer brush, a straw cleaner, and a detailing brush, and you'll be good to go. For cleaning the bottle, just use warm soapy water and your bottle brush. For a deeper clean, you could use cleaning tablets like the ones made by Bottle Bright. These little tablets are great and aren't that expensive. Check out our video where we tested Bottle Bright tablets to see the results. Needless to say, they were actually pretty good. Now on to the lids. Get your brush kit, a sponge or rag, a butter knife or some other kind of picking tool with an end that won't cut silicone, and a bowl with warm soapy water. It's also a good idea to get set up at least a few feet away from your sink since you'll be handling some pretty small parts, and you don't want to accidentally drop them down the sink. First, we'll look at the original straw lid. If you're not sure which lid you have, just look at the handle. The flex straw has the flexible loop handle, and the original straw lid has a small rigid handle that fits one finger. Start by disassembling the lid. The straw is attached with a friction fit on the cap so you can just pull it off. Next, pop off the spout by pushing it past the open position. There's a small gasket under where the spout was. Remove it by either tapping the lid upside down using your fingernails or use a small tool like tweezers or the butter knife. The silicone piece in the vent hole doesn't usually get that dirty, but for a really deep clean, you can pop that out too. Just use your thumb or fingernail to pry it out from the bottom. And the last removable piece is the big o-ring under the threads. This o-ring generally doesn't get as dirty so you may not need to clean it as often, but it's still good to clean it every once in a while. You need to use a butter knife or some other kind of tool to get it out, but it's not too difficult. Clean each piece thoroughly. Use the straw cleaner to get inside the straw from both sides if your cleaner isn't long enough. It's also not a bad idea to replace the straw every few months when it gets really dirty or if the friction fit is getting too worn out. Use the detailing brush or toothbrush to clean up under the threads in those hard to reach areas. Clean the air and spout holes in the cap with the straw cleaner and don't forget to clean inside the detached spout itself. We like to let each piece soak in the warm soapy water for at least 15 minutes, take it out for a rinse and then lay everything out on a towel to dry. Once it's all dry, we put it back together the way it was before. Add the large o-ring first and make sure it's properly seated to prevent leaking. Insert the small vent piece from the top simply by pushing it into the hole. Make sure you add the spout gasket in the correct orientation. If you look closely, you'll notice that one side has a slight taper that conforms better to the rounded bottom of the spout. Make sure this side faces up or your cap might leak more. Pop your spout into place and reattach your straw. Then you should be all set with your original Hydro Flask straw lid. And real quick, if you're using either of these lids and want to make your water more fun, try our Flavor Fuse Straw Fruit Infuser, which works with both of them. You can try new flavors each day to spice things up to help you achieve your hydration goals. Link is in the description. Next, we'll look at the Flex Straw Lid, which is honestly the better version in nearly every way. In some ways, it's easier to clean because the pieces are harder to lose, but it's also a little trickier to take apart. Like before, the first step is to disassemble the lid. Pull the straw out of the red silicone insert, then pull the insert itself out from the bottom. Detaching the spout is a little different and trickier compared to the old lid, but you can still do it. Lift the spout to about a 45 degree angle, then press it to the side and up. We like to keep the lid on the bottle for more leverage, 
and we put the spout between our thumb and index finger, then push with our arm muscles and not our wrist. The spout should then pop out of place. The last removable piece is the large O-ring up under the threads. This seal doesn't get as dirty, so you may not need to clean it as often, but it's still good to include in your deep clean every once in a while. It's much more difficult to get out compared to the original straw lid, and you'll need to find a tool with a fine tip end to get it out. I couldn't get it with a butter knife, but I was able to use the pointy end of this letter opener to get up under the seal and lift it. Just making sure to only use the plastic part of the letter opener and not letting it go all the way to the blade. I'm sure there are better tools out there, and if you find something that works great for you, please comment on it below to let us and other people know. Then start cleaning. Use your sponge, straw cleaner, and detailing brush to clean every little nook and cranny that you can, including the hole in the spout and the two holes in the red silicone insert. The detailing brush is really helpful for this lid when cleaning around the threads and where the red insert goes. Then soak everything in warm soapy water for at least 15 minutes, rinse, and air dry. Once it's all dry, slide the o-ring back in place. You need to be careful with this piece to make sure it's on correctly. You'll notice a little bend, and this should be facing towards where your bottle is going to seat. Pop the spout back into place, insert the red silicone piece, and reinsert the straw. Then you should be good to go. And that's it. If you found this video helpful, it helps our channel a lot if you could take a quick second to click the like button or subscribe, and thanks again if you make a purchase through one of the links in the description. It really helps our small business out. Keep Bottle Pro in mind for accessories for your large bottles, and happy hydrating!